Hi, it's Friday. So here's the last lesson for math this week. Watch the directions that are in the video and when you're done, click next. The first thing you're going to see is our objective and today's objective is very challenging. You're going to learn how to use the distributive property and common factors to write equivalent expressions. Yesterday you learned how to find factors of a number and you learned how to use a multiplication chart to do that. If you need to use a multiplication chart today, remember the link is right here on the left hand side of your screen. So use it if, it, if you need it. So today I want you to start at the top and read the directions, read the information in black because it explains a little bit more about what the distributive, distributive property is. Your success criteria is written in red. So you need to be able to explain how the distributive property works. You're going to find common factors of a number in an expression. You're going to use a distributive property and common factors to write equivalent expressions. And you're going to use the distributive property and the greatest common factor to write equivalent expressions. You have an assignment um, 6y14 and you need 90 points today. Now the first step in your directions is that you are going to watch all of the video clips to learn about the distributive property and how to write equivalent expressions. So there are several videos. There are four videos. I want you to watch all of them because that will help you understand how to do this concept. When you are done, then you click next. And it takes you to the vocabulary page. So today for vocabulary, you have two words. Your first word is distributive property and the second word is equivalent expressions. So make sure that you load the vocabulary tool in a new window and you complete both words in the graphic organizer, click submit in Google Drive, and then come back into Canvas and click next. You have your guided practice and independent practice page. So here's a link to your assignment. If you get stuck or need extra help, watch the two videos that are here. If you're still stuck, I really encourage you to call me, text me, or make an appointment so I can help you. I also am going to be going over this um, in the live session at some point, probably on Monday, I think. And so hopefully you'll be able to catch it then. Um, but definitely reach out if you're stuck and you need help because this um, is a really important standard, but it also is tricky. So after you have 90 points on your IXL assignment, come back into Canvas from IXL and click next. And you have the stop sign, which means you are done for the week. Good work today.